Hello friends, this is Dave from javacodejunkie.com and welcome to another episode about data access objects. In today's video, we're going to look at data transfer objects. In computer programming, a data transfer object is an object that carries data between processes. The difference between data transfer objects and business objects, or data access objects, is that a data transfer object does not have any behavior except for storage and retrieval of its own data. In other words, data transfer objects are simple objects that should not contain any business logic. Let's go to dBeaver and look at our tutorials database. Here in the tutorials database, we have a table named employees. And that table, if we open it up, contains five fields, the ID, an employee ID, a first name, a last name, and a department ID. And we're going to create a data transfer object for this table. Let's now go to Eclipse, where we're going to create a new class in our project. In the package com.javacodejunkie, I'm going to right-click, New, Class. And this class, I'm going to call Employee. And click Finish. And in the Employee class, I'm going to create five private instance variables. Private Integer ID. Private Integer employee ID private string first name private string last name and private integer department ID Now let's right click, choose source. Let's generate a constructor using fields. Ensure that all five fields are selected and click generate. And then right click again, source, generate getters and setters. We'll select all and click generate. We have a getter and setter pair for each of the fields, a get ID, a set ID, etc. And finally, for now, I'm going to, again, right-click, source, and generate a toString method. Again, select all fields and click generate. We'll get rid of the call to the super class, because that's the object class, and it's not necessary in this case. And here we have our data transfer object. Very simple. All that it has is a constructor that takes five fields, and it has a getter and a setter for each of those five fields. No other logic. Let's now go to our main class, where we will instantiate a new employee object. Employee, employee equals new employee. Give it a number one, employee ID, one, two, three, four, five, six. The first name, the last name, and a department ID. And then we'll do a sysout. Employee. This is going to use the toString method that we included in our data transfer object. Let's now right-click on the project name, run as Java application, and there we see that it is indeed working correctly. We have an employee with an ID of 1, an employee ID of 123456, name of Sam Spade, and a department ID of 3. In the next episode, we're going to create a DAO interface for this domain object. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out again today. I appreciate it as always, and I hope to see you again in the next video. 
Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.